Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Damage Indicators, specifically Toro Health Damage Indicators, and in Minecraft 1.15.2. We're going to be going over every single step of getting Damage Indicators downloaded, installed, set up, all of that stuff. It is going to be awesome, but first we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them, and guess what? You can run Damage Indicators indicators on your server by just installing it locally like we're doing here and then you can have damage indicators on your minecraft server and have fun with, with it on your own server and play with your friends on that server and all that awesome stuff we love apex again so much we use them ourselves they're come highly recommended and they are absolutely incredible so go check out apex the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash apex to get an amazing minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy Again, that is the breakdown.xyz slash apex, first link down below. Now, let's, let's get damage indicators. So, what you want to do is first go to the second link down below, and when you do, it's going to take you here. This is the Toro Health Damage Indicators official mod page, and you can kind of see some of the examples here. You've got, like, what it's going to look like in-game, the, the plus one there, and all that stuff. You can also change these different configs. However, in order to do that, you will need to install this mod here, right? But we're not going to be doing that here. However, if you do want to install it, it's just simply the exact same process. Put it into your, your mods folder, the same place where this is going to go. But yeah, nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this. The first thing you want to do, again, come here. And then once you're here, come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down. And then you'll have this Minecraft 1.15 section. And then under that, you have a version of this mod, Toro Health, as you can see there. Click that purple download button to the right of that. That's then going to take us off here where we want to wait a few seconds. And after a few seconds, the download will begin automatically. Now, Google Chrome, it's going to be in our bottom left. And we need to keep this file. So as you can see, Toro Health says Toro Health in the title. We're good to save the file or keep the file. We're going to keep it. Now, Mozilla Firefox, it's going to be in the center of your screen asking you if you want to save it. It's 100% safe to save the file. And we also need to download the Fabric API. Basically, this is the API that makes this all work. What you want to do, again, come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see this Minecraft 1.15 section. Under that, you'll see the 1.15.2 Fabric API. Click the purple download button to the right of that. Again, going to take us off. Same exact process. Same exact process. There we go. And then the download starts after a few seconds. We will need to keep this in the bottom left. It's 100% safe as long as it has Fabric API in the title. It does, so we can keep it. Was that Firefox, guys? You'll need to save it in the center of your screen, and it is 100% safe to save. Now, we, uh, last but not least, need to download Fabric. Now, when you come to Fabric, it's going to look like this. What you want to do is click on this vanilla button here, right? Click on vanilla there. And then once you're here, don't change anything. Just click download installer universal slash dot jar. It's important that you click on universal slash dot jar here. Once you click on that, it's going to download in the bottom left. And you're going to, again, last but not least, need to keep the file. Now, it is going to say Fabric installer, and as long as it does, you're safe to keep it. Mozilla Firefox, save it in the center of your screen as long as it has Fabric in the title. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And on my desktop, I have the Fabric installer, I have the Fabric API, and I do have the Toro Health Damage Indicator mod. Now, if these are on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be in your downloads folder. So click on the little Windows icon on the top left for me. It's probably in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Click on that, and then go ahead and type in downloads, right like so. You'll then have this downloads file folder in Windows. Then you'll find Fabric Installer, Damage Indicator, and Fabric API in this mods folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, once these are on your desktop, we're going to start off with the Fabric Installer. It's important that it's the Fabric Installer file, not the API. So Fabric Installer, go ahead and right-click on the Fabric Installer and click on Open With. Now here you should have Java of some sort, whether it's Java Team Platform SE Binary or just Java. It doesn't matter. You should have Java there. If you do, go ahead and click on it and click OK. But what if you don't? Or what if you do and it doesn't work? Or what if you don't even have these files looking like this? They're like RAR files, or they look like a Minecraft file, or they are some sort of book or something like that, or they're a zip file. What do you do there? Well, no worries. We have a solution for you, and that solution can be found in the description down below. Specifically, it's our tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. As you can see here, for Minecraft mods, this will go through every single step of getting the correct version of Java for Minecraft mods. Now, if you go through that and it's still not working, you need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is make all the .jar files on your computer work with Java once again and kind of link everything together. So there we go. That is what you need to do if you can't open up the Fabric installer. But finally, you can find the Fabric installer, right-click on it, click on Open With, click on Java Team Platform SE Binary, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Fabric installer here, where you want to make sure it says 1.15.2 is the Minecraft version. It does. So then we want to come down here and just click on the Install button there. When you click on that, it'll change for a second and then instantly say Done. It installs very, very quickly. And now we can close out of the Fabric installer. 
Now what we want to do is drag that to the side and go ahead and get the Damage Indicators mod and the Fabric API installed. To do this, you want to click on the little Windows icon. Again, this is in the top left of my screen, but it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. So click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then when you click on that, go ahead and type in Run. So Run, are you in? That's going to open up this Run app here. Click on that, and you'll have this little app with a text box, right? In this text box, what you want to type is percent app data percent percent sign app data percent sign exactly like that and then click OK that's then gonna open up your roaming folder here where in here you'll have a dot minecraft folder and then in here you should have a mods folder but Nick I don't have a mods folder what do I do well don't freak out guess what I don't even have one just go ahead and right click create a new folder you can title that folder whatever you want I'm gonna title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder here now if you do have a mods folder already you don't need to create one just go ahead and open it up but once you're in your mods folder go ahead and take Toro Health and F Fabric API and drag them from your desktop into your mods folder again we want to make sure this is the Fabric API not the Fabric Launcher so Fabric API there and then the Toro Health mod is dragged and dropped into your mods folder now we can go ahead and open up Minecraft, right? So we open up Minecraft right like so. And then once you're in here, you want to click on this little arrow right to the left of the play button. Click on that little arrow there. And then you should have Fabric Loader. If you do, click on it and click play and Minecraft will, will open. But if you don't, no worries. All you need to do is click on installations at the very, very top up here. And then once you're here, what you want to do is click on the plus new button. See that plus new? And you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We are a network Minecraft Minecraft server with two survival servers, Aquatic Survival, with a slash shop based economy, MCMMO, jobs, things like that. And then we do have a, a Medieval Survival with over 30 custom quests on it. Both servers are grief protected. They are incredible and you will absolutely love them. We do have Skyblock as well with OP enchants, custom islands, fence generators, tons of awesome features over there, custom challenges. You will love it. And then last but not least, Factions is coming very, very soon with a ton of awesome packed features. It's coming in April of this year and currently I'm uploading this in March. So if it's in March or after March 2020, factions will be out. Nevertheless, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP and I can't wait to see you online. Now what you want to do is click on this version drop down box here and then you want to find release fabric dash loader. So if you have multiple ones here, just click the one closest to the top. That's what this one is. Click on that. I'm going to change my resolution here so you all can see once we get in game. And now you can go ahead and click create in the bottom right. Now down here at the bottom, you'll have this new profile you created. In our case, play.breakdowncraft.com. And under that, it should say fabric dash loader. If it does, go ahead and click the green play button. Now Minecraft is going to open up with the damage indicators mod installed. It's that quick, that simple, and that easy to get this mod set up and running in Minecraft 1.15.2. Now, one thing that has happened to me in testing this mod is sometimes it would crash and not start up correctly. It would freeze probably right about this point right here, and then it would just not open, right? If that happens, just close out of Minecraft and reopen it with the Fabric Launcher, and then it will work perfectly fine. We didn't get that issue here, but that is one I've ran into. If we look in here on the bottom left, we will be able to see Fabric modded. If we jump into single player, I'm just going to jump into this random world here. I originally created it when I was setting up the PvP mod, better PvP mod, excuse me, but this will work for this. And once we're in here, we'll see all sorts of mobs. As you can see, they are all there. And then in the top left, we do have the cow, the pig, and the zombie. It is all there. But if we go ahead and do time, set, day, and then follow the zombie, we will see as he ticks down that damage going away, right? Boom, boom, boom. And then we can make it go away even faster by punching the zombie, right? Like so. This also works with something like a ghast. I spawned this in for this video. So we can come up here and we can see, hit the ghast, and it will go ahead and have its damage go down. And it even works on things like cows and stuff like that. So cow here looking at it, boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 until the cow is in fact dead. So yeah, there's that. That is how that works. And uh, you now have damage indicators. What is really cool is this will work with players. So if you are in like a PvP sort of scenario, this will work with players and allow you to, you know, take care of that and use it against players. So yeah, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps us out and it means a ton to me. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. If you are looking for an incredible Skyblock server, faction server, or survival server, you will absolutely love it. We are growing every single day, over 200 players online nearly every single day. So come play with us. Again, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. And if you want to start your own server, check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the link in the description. But nevertheless, this has been The Breakdown. My name is Nick. Enjoy damage indicators for Minecraft 1.15.2. And I am out. Peace.